Welcome back. Singapore's Migrant Workers Centre is calling for a structured skills qualification framework for foreign workers. Its chairman says this will help enhance the quality of workers here. About 7 in 10 of the over 1 million foreign workers in Singapore are work permit holders. And there is currently no structured skills qualification or certification program tailored for them. The Migrant Workers Centre says such an initiative can help to enhance the quality and skills of foreign workers, which could then be tied to the renewal of their work permits. They just renew and renew, but I think it's important for us to only keep the better one. For any workers who want to continue to work here after the two years uh, work permit uh, terms, they should so prove that they have actually upped the skill. Employers we spoke with say there should be more incentives to train foreign workers, like the construction sector, which enjoys levy concessions for work permit holders who possess relevant skills and certificates. The association, which oversees the cleaning industry, a sector heavily reliant on foreign workers, wants to see such an arrangement expanded. Its president, Milton Ng, says companies will then invest in foreign worker training as the lower levy will assist in defraying training costs. He adds that skilled foreign workers can also contribute to increasing productivity. Training aside, the Migrant Worker Centre is also pushing for a standard employment contract between employment agencies, foreign workers and employers. Now, it's very much like the standard contract for foreign domestic workers, which outlines service agreements and employment terms. Mr Yeo says his team is also working on offering placement services for foreign workers who are in between contracts, laid off or temporarily out of jobs because of pending claims or disputes with employers. The Manpower Ministry says it agrees with the intent to encourage firms to train their staff and retain skilled workers. But in providing direct financial support for training, the focus is on helping the local workforce. The ministry adds that employers who send their local or foreign workers for training can still benefit from the Productivity and Innovation Credit Scheme. This scheme gives businesses tax savings or payouts for innovation and training.